Have you ever felt that your man doesn't listen to you like in all times? Or even worse, you stop sharing information because you think your man doesn't care anymore like in all times. Well, let me tell you something. You're not alone. There's a lot of people and women that feel the same way you're, that you are feeling. So let's talk about that. According to research, and this is something really interesting, uh, men tend to think more than what they feel. Why? Because from the beginning of times, they've been taught to really just mute their emotions and just think. That's their nature. That's part of who they are. It's part of the masculine uh, energy. Well, in contrast with us women, uh, research also have shown and proof that women, we, can, we have the ability to think and feel at the same time. And maybe you say, well, that's awesome, right? That's incredible. We are better than men. Well, not necessarily, because sometimes this can be like a big, um, like a weapon if we don't know how to handle these things. And this is the main uh, point of a lot of arguments between men and women in a, in a relationship. Because the problem is that, the problem is not that we can think and feel at the same time. The problem is that women don't know how to master their emotions. So that's the problem. So every time if there's a if there's a problem or an argument that you want to discuss with your partner he sees you not just as a person that is going to talk and thinking but I, he sees you as a person that it's feeling and thinking and it's like a and it's like a storm coming towards him and this can be a little bit overwhelming for them so that's why it's complicated to have a conversation so what to do I'm going to share with you these three points that can help you to how to communicate with your man. First of all, number one, understand his world. And that means to understand and know the facts that I've been sharing with you and maybe more, all right? Maybe this can be a great, good uh, topic of conversation with him asking, hey, I learned this about men, you know, they, that you guys tend to think more than feel. Is it true? How true is in your daily day? Do you think more than what you feel? And if it's true with you, why is this? Do you feel okay with this? Is it better for you to just think than feel? And then share the statistics that you find out that men, I mean the women, us, we think and feel at the same time. Okay, so start understanding his world because that will give you more compassion. You know, that will give you a better understanding, especially in the moments of that you are under pressure when you have to discuss something important. When you have in mind that, that's gonna help you to, to be more uh, positive in the conversation. So point number two, don't change who you are. Embrace your emotions, embrace the fact that you are a woman because we are beautiful, we are wonderful, right? But the thing is that, that is a problem that we don't know how to master our emotions. So when we get angry with our partners, with our men, you get angry. Angry equals pain. Pain equals out of control. Out of control equals reaction. And when you're reacting, you're just feeling. Again, we're not thinking. So when you're just feeling, that's the problem. That's what causes, you know, just to be distant. This is one of the big mistakes that you can do to become somebody that you're not, or even worse, to pretend to be like him. Just change your nature. Okay, he doesn't want to talk, then guess what? Hm, I'm not going to talk. I'm going to play the same, you know, the same character that he's playing. Don't do that. This is what's happening. He doesn't, he doesn't notice that because he's like that. So he's not seeing a big difference. I mean, you don't want to talk. Okay, you don't want to talk. But the rea in reality, you're suffering because you're changing who you are, your real nature. Being or pretending being somebody that you're not or being like him, it, it's sucking your energy because you're just playing somebody that you're not. So embrace your emotions, learn. If you know, if you are a person who cries for everything, well, try to master that, okay? Learn, there's a lot of uh, resources in the internet or find especially somebody can, that can help you to really manage these emotions. Because remember, this can be a great combination, thinking and, and feeling at the same time, but when you are in charge of, of your emotions. And point number three, practice, practice, practice. To become an expert and this is according to research too, you have to practice at least 10,000 hours. So you can call yourself an expertee or a master in something. Don't expect to change if you say, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try to be conscious. I'm gonna try to be compassionate about him that he, I'm, I'm gonna have in mind that he just think and don't feel. 
and it doesn't happen, you know, and you ended up again having an argument. Well, be compassionate about you, be compassionate about him, and just practice and talk about this, you know, just share your, your, what you think and your plans too, because that's part of the plan of changing. You will see how your communication with him is gonna improve, but it takes time. And remember, if you wanna have a great relationship, you have to invest time in that. So you, you don't settle for an ordinary relationship, but for an extraordinary one. I'm Leslie Montoya, and I hope this will help you in your relationship. Share it if you like it, and maybe somebody else can benefit from this. See you next time, bye-bye.